Where's the gosh damn thing? The thing. It's powerful. We must take care. Woohoo! I'll show no mercy! I know the walk. You can't escape! Fire! Wide open! Everyone ready? God, leave it to yes. me! There. Yeah. I shall go. Is activate. Let's go. Ha! All right, nice work. Enemy found. Begin suppression. Sit. It's my turn. You can't escape. Let's go! Yeah! My turn. I shall go. There! <laughs> Very well. Yeah! Huh. Is that all? That enemy is strong. Please be careful.
Where are you, Griptin? Group. Second form, Gale. Leave this to me. I'm up. I shall go. Brionac, activate. Fire. Lead this to me. How does this suit you? Lead this to me. Ah, I'm up. Huh. My turn. Arcus, activate. Yeah. Lead this to me. It's my turn! Sit! It's my turn! <laughs> Farewell for now! I must train even more! Nothing stands out over here either. Nothing here. What is that then? These boot prints most like now brace yourself. Conform, Gale. My turn. Ah, strike. Here I go. You can't escape. Fire. Wide open. An opening. I shall go. Brianna, activate fire. Let's go. Ah. Uh. Very well. Now. Let's go! Sit! It's my turn! Yeah! My turn! Ha!
Let's go! Sit! Now. There. It's my turn! Let's go! Let's go! Crimson Slash! It's down! It's mine! It's my turn! Finish it. Very well. Ah, strike! I'm up! Here I go! Yeah! Wide open! It's mine! <laughs> yeah, I did it! Stats updated. Doesn't seem like there's anything. What's this? Ha! Ha! Be on guard! Sit! Here I go! Arcus, activate! I shall go. Arcus, activate! Not today! Let's go! Let's go! 
Behold, the dual blades of Vander. Now! Ha! I'll end it. Ha! Ragnar, strike! Go. Arcus, activate. Here I go. You got this. Leave everything to me. this to me witness the severing chains ha! I'm afraid your fate is now sealed fall into death's embrace this! It's down! I'll assist. I'm up! <sighs> Let's go! turn. Now, transform. Sync complete. Go, Arcadius gear. Ready, launch. Brianna, open fire. Exterminating target. Huh? Behold, the dual blades of Vander. Now! Ha! I'll end it. Ha! Ragnar, strike! Gah. My blade, calm as still water. Now! Ah! Ha! Seventh Slash! Fallen Leaves! Lead this to me! Arcus, activate! this to me. Here I go. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. 
Thanks. I appreciate it. I shall go. Charging. Very well. Yeah. I'm up. It's my turn. Here I go. Yeah. Very well. Uh, ha! My turn. Ha! Now. Charging. Yeah! It's my turn. Let's go! Raging fire formation! I'm up! Yeah. It's down! I'll assist. Yes. Arcus, activate! An opening! Let's go! Now! Let's be off, everyone. All right, got it. I must train even more. Marben. <laughs> that Ashen Kid and Kruger, huh? 
<laughs> Not bad, I guess. But I think I'll just focus on the target for now. I'll leave those pain in the ass experiments to him. Things are gonna get interesting if our masked friend starts moving too. At the young age of 13, the girl was its second most skilled member. The only thing she had were her title, which had been passed down to her, and the designation Sharon Kruger. Kruger. She spent her days simply carrying out her missions with soulless eyes, an emotionless assassin doll. Then one day, the Order met its end. At the hand of Ouroboros, at the time, the society was still in its early days, and the two groups were in full conflict behind the scenes. But against the combined assault of the Almighty Conflagration, the Blade Lord, and the Steel Maiden, the Moonlight Horse stood no chance. They were nearly completely destroyed. Its members, known as the Thousand Oathbreaker and the Golden Butterfly, became the Fourth Anguis and Enforcer Number Three, respectively. While the empty girl was welcomed into the society as Enforcer Number Nine. But even after becoming an Enforcer, the girl's life did not change. She obeyed the requests of the Anguis, performing many missions. She was always free to refuse, but as she knew no other way of life, she simply accepted. But it was through that bleak existence that her bond with the Reinford family came to be. The girl was given a mission by the Sixth Anguis to infiltrate a city named Ruer in the northeast part of the Empire. The mission required her to meet with a certain person, but a terrible accident occurred. The mission ended in failure. The girl suffered serious injuries, and the other person lost their life. That person was Chairman Arena's husband, Lady Elisa's father. Master Franz Reinfurt. <laughs> Yet Lady Arena saved the girl, the one whose actions resulted in her husband's death. She even gave her a name. I had never had a name before then. Kruger was simply a designator to differentiate me from others who have held the same title. One would simply change their name as the mission required. That was the way of the Order. But Lady Arena gave me the name, Sharon. Suddenly, this empty girl had a place to belong as a maid of the Reinford family. Since that point, I have continued to serve the Reinfords while still belonging to Ouroboros. I was able to do so thanks to the freedom the society grants its enforcers. I simply felt this was a good opportunity. Someday, when you feel the need, please tell Lady Elisa. For you see, there is the possibility that I may not be there for her. <laughs> it is merely a possibility. It is absolutely impossible for my love and devotion for the Chairman and my Lady to ever leave me. Oh, but of course, if you and Lady Elisa were to become a couple, I would serve you as your own personal maid as well.
Masterine. What? <laughs> you truly have become dependable. Yeah. However, for you to say all that to an older woman Since. such as myself is a tad unfair. Perhaps one. I should begin serving you as your own personal maid right now. everyone, the Pantagruel's landing boat has launched. As we speak, it's ferrying the inspection team to the tower's rooftop. Uh, excuse me, 
Uh, behind Prince Olivert, we have Princess Alfin, the daughter of the Emperor. She is simply an angel. The young woman with her is gorgeous too. Oh. This Still protecting this place, even if its residents are gone? Whoa. Well then, all we can do is wait for the snake's next move. I'm also curious to find out what the branch campus is capable of. Oh. 